What's up, Lunatics? Welcome back to the channel. Back out on the water today and hopefully gonna catch some fish. Um, got a couple things in store today. I got a few different things that I need to film. I'm gonna do some rigging videos, um, a recap on my uh, Sam Rayburn tournament. And I'm not gonna do them all in one video because that would be too long. So I'll break it up and do a few different videos, but got a lot of filming to do today. I don't know how much actual fishing I'm gonna be doing. Uh, family's gonna meet me out here in a little bit as well. Um, so if I catch a few fish, that's gonna be a bonus, but got a few different things that I need to do this morning. Um, and then maybe in the afternoon as well. But uh, but yeah, out here on the water, San Vicente, out here in San Diego, and uh, hopefully gonna catch some fish. Uh, my first trip back out from uh, Rayburn, I came out to El Cap actually, just a local lake in San Diego as well, and got skunked. I did not expect that to happen Normally I at least catch a fish, but got skunked out there and I was pretty frustrated. It kind of like, it kind of got to me a little bit because I had so much struggles at Sam Rayburn and then I come home and I'm just assuming that I'm going to be able to, to get bit, but the fishing was super tough. And I tried to force feed them a couple different baits because I was trying to get some content with them and it just didn't happen. And um, unfortunately I got skunked and I was not in the mood to get skunk so i didn't end up really recording anything i had nothing to put out on a video because i'm not afraid to put out a video that where i i really sucked it up and didn't catch bass but i didn't have anything on video to actually put into a video so unfortunately i couldn't give you guys that authentic um getting skunked kind of video but um uh, that's just it is what it is it happens and uh unfortunately or thankfully it doesn't happen too often but it still happens from time to time. But uh, yeah, gonna go out here, probably gonna do a lot of finesse fishing today. I just kind of feel like that's what we need to do out here today. And uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. Drop a comment if you are a new subscriber and uh, hopefully, um, hopefully you like the channel. And uh, if you have any questions or anything like that, make sure to check the description and drop your questions down in the comments. A lot of good stuff down in the description of the videos. I got all kinds of discount codes, links to tackle that I'm using, stuff like that. So make sure to check that out. But enough talking, we've been talking long enough. Let's go fishing, let's go catch some fish. Okay, so we just pulled up into our first area. And what I'm gonna try out is one of these brand new dual molds cutter worms and these are a swim worm obviously as you can see but i'm going to try and nico rig it i'm going to leave this tail on it for now but i also really think that if you cut this tail off and um, just use it as a nico worm just like a basically a do nothing worm without that tail on there i really think it's going to play um, but first thing I'm gonna to try to do is I'm gonna to try to fish it with the tail on, see if I can get bit that way. Um, if that's not working out, I am gonna cut that tail off and uh, see what happens. But um, I really think that this is gonna be a good Nico worm, maybe even really good on a shaky head, but obviously you can use this as a swim worm on a Texas rig or something. But for the lakes that I'm fishing out here, I'm gonna try this as a Nico rig. I think it'll play as a Texas rig too, but that's what we're gonna start off with is a Nico rig, brand new, do it molds cutter worm. So right here we've got our cutter worm, as you can see, and what I'm going to be using for the weight in this Nico rig is this nail weight that I use or I made using my Midwest Finesse Dual Mold. It's actually the Ned Rig Mold from Dual Molds, but instead I put a nail in there and um, that has the keeper on there. These end up being really good nail weights. I really, really like them. I've used them for a while now. I did a video a long time ago talking about these but i really like this uh nail weight that i can make myself if if you think that that nail is a little bit too long you can always just take a take a pair of cutters and and cut that off make it a little bit shorter i'm gonna leave it in there full size right now but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take this cutter worm and go to this flat top part we're gonna put this nail right through the middle and just push it in all the way till it sits flush just like that and then that keeper is going to keep that that weight in there really good. One other thing I want to talk about on this cutter worm is this hook slot. Hopefully you can see it, but right here in the middle of the bait is a hook slot for this cutter worm. I really think that's a really good feature that do it add it into this bait. But what I got right here is the jungle wacky rig hook from owner. 
these are awesome hooks i like the little keeper it's got right there but we're gonna go right through the middle of this bait you could also use an o-ring i'm not gonna do that right now i'm just gonna go right through the middle and there we go we got our nico rig bait let's go hopefully catch some fish so i've got this nico rig paired up with the six cents unicorn spinning rod it's a seven foot two model the uh website says medium light or the rod says medium light but as you can see on their website they uh modified that to basically a medium action rod because it's a little bit stiffer than a medium light i'm not sure exactly what happened but it is notated on there and they did reduce the price because of that issue and this rod is well worth that reduced price it's worth the full price too but with that price reduction it's even more of a good buy so definitely go check out the six cents unicorn spinning rod i'm really happy with it so far and uh, hopefully we can get out here catch some fish on it and uh we got some cigar smackdown braid on the spinning reel this is the daiwa tatula lt spinning rod and then um, we got a fluorocarbon leader down to our Nico rig. There's one. There's one on the cutter work. Oh, it just broke me off. It just broke me off. I caught that fish and it broke me off. Dang it. <sighs> That's so frustrating. Ah, oh, man. Well, that didn't take long. Just got bit on that cutter worm. Nico rig, like I showed you guys. Um, I saw a fish on the panoptics and... Um, not gonna lie guys, that's frustrating. Just got bit on the cutter worm Nico rig like I showed you guys. Saw fish on the pan optics and uh, tossed that Nico rig over there. Fish swam over and I started pulling up on the rod, felt the weight and uh, set the hook and then right away broke me off. Um, pretty frustrating, I'm not gonna lie. Especially when, you know, you work hard to make the baits, you work hard to get bit and then first one you get um, breaks you off. But hopefully uh, we can get back out there and uh, get another bite and then uh, land that one. But got to get retied and uh, we'll get that thing right back out there. There's one. There's one. Stay on fish. Stay on there fish. Stay on. There we go. Not bad. Not bad. Check that out. Check that out. Do almost cutter worm. Got him on the Nico rig. Check that out. Hopefully you guys can see that in there. Check that out. Not a bad fish. Not a bad fish. Caught it on the sink. Okay, I ate it right there on the sink. Pretty cool. Nice little two and a half pounder. My daughter's coming later today, so we're gonna put this guy in the live well so she can check him out later. Not a bad fish. Well guys, there you have it. Cutter worm works. Works on that Nico rig. I know it's gonna work on a Texas rig, but pretty cool to take something like that and use it as a Nico bait. Eight ounce Nico weight. I got, I'm fishing pretty deep right now. There's a rock pile that I'm fishing and probably like 30, 40, maybe even down to 50 foot. And I'm just letting this thing fall down there. And both the bites that I've gotten have been on the fall. I think a lot of these fish are just kind of swimming around a little bit suspended closer down towards the bottom but um they're they're eating it on the fall 
because that last one I just lifted up and then I felt that fish have it, set the hook and I was able to get him in the boat. The last fish that I broke off um, felt like a decent fish also, but I think I just had my drag too tight because um, just didn't check it and it cost me. Well, the first spot produced a couple bites for us, not too bad. Um, unfortunately, only one of them made it to the boat, but uh, we're gonna go find another area and real quick guys, I just wanna to talk to you guys about water lens sunglasses. These sunglasses right here, um, sight fishing, spawning is all gonna start coming up real, real quick. And you definitely want to have a good pair of sunglasses, especially if you're gonna go sight fishing. It's gonna cut down the glare. You're gonna be able to see those beds. You're gonna be able to see those bass on the beds. You're gonna be able to figure out which one is the big one, which one is the small one. And, um, it's, it's gonna make a big, big difference. If you fish clear water, you're gonna be able to see inside the water, you're gonna be able to see grass lines, you're gonna see brush piles, you'll see fish cruising. There's a lot that goes into, or there's a lot of benefits that go into having a good pair of sunglasses. So check out Waterland, use my code LUNA10 at waterlandco.com and get yourself a pair of Waterland sunglasses. You're not gonna regret it. They're great, great sunglasses. I like to wear the Ashore models. When I'm out here on the water, that's what I have on right now. When I'm off the water, I wear the high bros just because I like that style. And the reason why I wear two different pairs out on the water is because I really like having the fuller frame when I'm out on the water as opposed to when I'm just driving around or just out, you know, off the water with the high bros. So um, another really popular model is the Millican model, but uh, I like the Ashores and the high bros. So go check out waterlandcode.com. Use my code LUNA10 and get yourself a pair of sunglasses. Get them soon so that way you have them when those fish start to spawn. Yeah. I got one. There's my twenty one. Sir. Thank you, Mr. Luna. Can you get that fish for me? Yeah. It's not real quick. Good time to start. Uh, probably like seven or so. Thanks, Juan. Thank you. You all set? All right. Thank you. Have a good day, boss. You too. Are they biting on? Um, I'm just. Or? Yeah, I'm throwing a little Nico rig bait. Yeah. I had another bite over on the other end over there, but it broke me off, so. All right. All right. Good luck, man. There's one. There we go. Another one on the Nico rig cutter worm. There we go. There we go, get in the boat. Get you in the boat. There we go. There we go. Oh, threw my worm off. There we go. Another one on the old cutter worm. Can't complain about that right there. Not a bad fish, not a giant by any means, but we got one, but we got one. This owner, Jungle Wacky Hook, it's a good hook. You guys should check it out for sure. And uh, so far the, the cutter worm's doing it. Gotta love that. So that last fish was actually kind of cool because I saw the whole thing happen on my, on my pan optics. I cast it to what I thought was a fish down there and uh, as it's falling, I see like three other little ones start going towards it. And once I saw a group of them kind of going after this bait, I figured I was gonna get bit. 
and um, I didn't see the strike obviously on on the panoptics or anything like that but I did see these fish kind of come out of nowhere as the bait was falling and uh, lifted up that fish was there and got him in the boat so I don't know how many of you guys throw a worm like this on an eco rig I've never done it before this is literally the first time I've ever done it and uh, obviously it's produced some bites um, it's not wide open fishing out here uh, but this is a pretty cool little little deal that we're dealing with right now um, that tail it's gonna be fluttering as it goes down and then that there's no salt in this bait either so I'm imagining in my mind that when this is up in the air you know you might get some of this tail to move a little bit if I pop it a lot it'll it'll move that tail and everything like that and then there's still a lot of this like stick bait look to it as well so even if it's not doing anything it's just gonna be kind of like a like a stick bait or something like that down there on the bottom and so far it's producing some fish pretty good morning so far hopefully we can get another one there's one there's another one look at that you can see it on the on the pan optics right there that one coming up that's red oh it came off dang it it came off i was playing around with it on the pan optics and the thing came off that was dumb but hopefully you guys saw that on the camera that was cool though hopefully i can get another one there's a big school down there so that school right there is the one that i just caught that fish out of and unfortunately it came off when i was trying to show you guys me fighting it on the on the screen but hopefully we can get another one well everybody that's gonna be it today we got my daughter right here marissa and then my wife's behind the camera but uh family's here so pretty cool catching a few fish on the do it molds cutter worms um fun way to fish throwing that nico rig um, unfortunately I only got two so far today but you know it was one of those deals where I was trying to show you guys that one on on the Garmin as I was fighting it and as it was coming up hook came out so we only got only got two out of those three and then I broke off one early in the morning but that's just the way it goes but overall pretty cool morning here and now it's time to hang out with family and uh, yeah so hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I uh, hope you guys um, subscribe to the channel and if you guys pour your own plastics get that cutter worm mold and uh, you guys can do a lot of different things with it and like I said in the beginning of today's video I will be able or I will be doing a um, rigging video here pretty soon that shows all the different way up that cutter worm because it's super versatile and uh, doing the Nico rig thing like I did this morning is definitely a non-traditional way to fish that bait so pretty cool way to do it and something that uh, I think you guys could go out and do yourself so again that's it for today hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys next time see ya bye